Alright then, got my new little webcam, got my glasses on, let's do a little tutorial. So, as you see, I have this horrid kind of, I don't know, this horrible, harsh gradient <coughs> of light or fog or shadow or whatever that's kind of hard to make out. Um, and sometimes it's hard to figure out how we get here, but this is a uh, a problem that I've seen uh, online, and that I've had myself and had to figure out. But anyway, um, I've come to the conclusion that it is essentially an issue with the sky atmosphere, and I'm going to show you kind of how you can help yourself with it a little bit um, and get rid of it. So I'm using UDS Ultra Dynamic Sky in this example but it does apply to the uh, standard stuff and should apply to anything else as well. So one thing I'm going to show you first, obviously I'm going to click on, I've renamed my UDS um, because I'm trying to s create something for my own game. Um, but anyway, if you go to this sky atmosphere component, sometimes um, it will be positioned uh, not quite how you would want it. So sometimes it will be really high up, sometimes it will be really low down. And I find if you just adjust the sky atmosphere a little bit, you tend to get rid of that, or you'll you'll see that that uh, will start to change that effect to a more uh, likable or desirable version. And you probably see that you get these better looking distant, uh, like kind of horizon distances as well, or a better blend. Um, another thing to take note of is that although it might not show it now but um, you've seen the settings that I'm actually going to hit anyway but I'm going to hit play um, this might take a second because this is like a fully loaded 35 kilometer environment so it might take a second to load Okay. Okay, so we got my got the environment. She's running a bit funny. But you can kind of see hopefully you can see it on the screen. But basically you end up with that kind of effect when you hit play mode quite quite a lot quite often it will be separate to what you see in editor um, so essentially that is a um, a slight variance between editor and runtime and basically there are some settings that you can play around with to um, get rid of that or help with it at least so I'm gonna do it in the editor um, Gonna hide the things that aren't relevant. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we go into UDS. You want to find the sky atmosphere, and then the settings you want to look for are in this art direction panel. And I find that these uh, sometimes the aerial perspective view distance scale can help. Oh, I've clicked off of it. Um, but basically the two that matter the most is height fog contribution and this this is the big one the aerial perspective start length so if I basically you can kind of see it sweeping across and because I've got my sky atmosphere positioned relative to the ground um, a decent amount this isn't as harsh but if I put this to like point 
one, which I had it before, it's kind of alright. So what this means is that you get like a clean looking, so like let's just say this is the character. You get like a fresh hold between the character and your whatever you set the perspective start depth at. This is all like clear. So like everything is clear, not affected by the atmosphere, well the fog mostly in the atmosphere you know in a uh, strong way and then beyond that threshold you know if we were to put a pin where that threshold mark is it would then start to fade into these other settings um, that's kind of how I visualize it that's not going to be like a perfectly good description but that is basically how I would like internally visualize it myself um, but basically yeah you can see as you affect that you start to change the setting so I've basically just got it to like 0 0.001 and that means it just starts kind of at the camera essentially um, which is almost like a post processing effect and you can see I've got some distance issues um, so you might want to come in and uh, oh yeah that one's hardwired so aerial perspective view distance scale that's the one where you choose the kind of thickness of it all um, so I think I have, want that to like 2 or something for my personal thing and then I've got to fix up that horizon um, which maybe I'll do with um, the overall transform height maybe I'll put that to like a thousand oh, it's not very easy to see in Runtime, or maybe it can't even be affected in runtime. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to swear either, but you know, things happen. Anyway, that's basically, you get the gist. That's basically how I've solved that. And you might say, well, I don't want it foggy. And then it's like, fair enough, then I would say you just gotta play with these settings and you know, make a determine, uh, determ determine first what your art style is, and then play around with these settings. Um, because fog is your friend in this stuff, I find. Um, you always want it to be. Also, I don't know really what the bottleneck is that on this. I don't know if performance-wise, this is going to be like a bad thing. Um, I haven't tested it, but basically, that's kind of how you deal with that. Um, so far. But yeah, I'm you know I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks quite nice having that kind of effect closer to the camera and getting rid of that horrible line. Um, and yeah, don't judge my map too harshly. It's going to be very different once I start getting rocks in and buildings and trees and all that stuff. It's very much just the blank canvas at the moment. And she runs like she needs to go for a crap. But, um, yeah, she's starting to look alright. And we got a, got the physics in. The cloth stuff. And, yeah, it's going alright. So, hopefully that helps you with your lighting issue. Um, if you want to follow this project, then the link will be in the description to Discord. Um, it's slow going at the moment. I'm looking to sort of link up with um, some decent blueprint people to kind of keep me on track, um, but also to allow our art side to, you know, stay on progress because at the moment we're kind of setting ourselves up to to do, you know, everything. But we we kind of need some other some other people to jump in with us. But you know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully that helped for those who were looking specifically for the lighting stuff. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.